There's my good mate Josh. He's going to be doing all the digging for us today and getting everything in place. So that's my man. Happy days. We're going to do all this. So that's going to be fun. So here we go. The beginning of the dig out starts. Good stuff. Uh, they seem to pop up nice, nice and easy as well. That's good. Yeah, there we go. That's a good sign. So uh, there we go. Type 1 MOT, 100 mil, compacted in two levels of 50 mil done. So that's in. Um, I just want to fine tune it now just to get it really accurate with, I've got a ton of stone dust. So I'm just going to spread the stone dust round over the top of it just to um, give her a nice finish from what I'm actually uh, tiling on top of. Morning, so today's installation day. We're going to give her a whirl. A bit of a crap day yesterday, absolutely belted down. But today we're going to start sticking them down, so I'll show you how we're doing it. Okay, so I know what bond I'm doing. Now I'm just getting my levels right. I got my set square, so I can go in nice and square with what I've got. String line I've got going from top to bottom. The top's higher than the bottom, so the water can run off and come down. I got my little string level on there. So all pretty much set out, ready to go now. So I'm going to make some primer next. I got to show you this primer stuff is great. And this is the stuff here in the bucket. So every tile gets this stuff painted on the back. I use a roller. I just find it's not as messy. But it all this is the new thing I've never used before. I'm going to use it today for the first time. So it helps you keep the tiles nice and level. So you've got this little gadget here. That goes between the tile. Like so when they're laid, you pop those in between the joints. Screw this cap on. And that brings the tile nice and flush. Never used it before, but um, yeah, if there's ever a gadget out there to help you, I'm always up for using it. So when I do it, it'll be one on every corner, and then tighten her up, and then should help bring everything a little bit leveler. So now we've got the primer sorted, now we're gonna show you the cement. So the cement I'm using today is slightly wetter than I would normally use. I'll show you the texture. So this is the texture of it. It is wetter than I'd normally use, my previous video. But the main reason I'm using that texture today is because I'm using those to help lock them in position to stop anything from moving. So yeah, we'll give it a whirl, see how it goes. So I got my first tile on. So, all right, let me show you the level I'm going to. I want the bubble just to be touching the line on the right hand side and i'll show you now how much over the length of this which is two foot 600 mil is that much on level so that's your full for your water to come off okay there we go that's a day's work for you uh that self-leveling stuff turned out to be pretty good i must admit i think i'll use that again i'm gonna pop back in the morning now and smack them off so the customers have got something to look at over the weekend while well, I'm not here. Okay, guys, well, have a good weekend. Catch you Monday. Peace out. So centre point set out. As you can see the level, the bubbles just touching the line just about. So that gives me a good fall that way. So that line I follow up over here. That goes to there. Then that line goes over to there. The crack fall, so... These, that end over there should match up to the rest of what I'm doing over here. Shimp. So yeah, as long as you sort out the middle point, center point, then everything should fall into place. But yeah, that's the level, just, just touching the line. Okay, had a, had a decent day. We got that one in. Got my corner set up. Running these down there. It's a nice contrasting colour actually, having the uh, the buff colour stone in the corner. Okay, well there we go. There's the two cuts I wanted to do there. Nice and tight. Tight is right. 
and I can run the line and carry on up the side. So just in case anybody skipped forward and you didn't see me actually do any installation of the towels, I'll just show you what it's like. Right, so a couple of trowel folds. Looks like I said before, it's slightly wetter this mix for those little gizmos that actually help me from, um, from any of the tiles from moving. So, nice bed of cement going on there. If I get the exact amount you need. So, I'm going to stick some of these things in again. Sticking one in there, one in there. They do actually say it's like a self-leveling, but it's not really. It does help lock them together, but the slabs are so heavy, it's hard to pick up. Right, so I'm going to dollop prime on the back of these. Most in, one of the most important parts of the job. Trying to get these things completely coated. Okay, that's ready. Spin around. Ding. Right, pop it on. Get as close as you can. The soft part of the mallet. There we go, that's pretty much it. And spin the caps on. Like I said, they don't actually help lift it up like a self-leveling but it does lock them in place so at least that's a bonus but yeah we'll carry on now for the rest of the day we're just going to finish this row off and uh, we're going to call it a day then so corner pieces have been smoothed off now it's time to put the tiles in so i got my center point i got my square so as is a really hot morning what i'd like to do i like to soak the area I'm about to be laying on, so otherwise the cement will hit it and it'll dry too quick and it can most likely crack. So yeah, a little tip, when it's really hot, wet it down. So that's the oval patio finished, walls retained. So um, yeah, entrance to the patio is that section there. So they can come off the main area and walk straight in. So uh, yeah, really glad to get that one done and it looks pretty cool. So we've got another two rows down this morning. So that's the main patio done. We've just got the border to go down there and some sleepers towards the top. So we're just gonna give her a bit of a clean round today. There's the oval. I put a couple of boards down so you could put a Cotswold stone on it. And then all the area before, the weed membrane was really rubbish. So we're gonna re-level it and renew it and cover it back up again. Well, there we go, that's a day's work at the office. Um, got the alvinries at the side, at the side over there. Got my middle bit sorted. I might actually put another row around the outside, not 100% sure. Let's soon find out tomorrow. And uh, I'll have a crack of the step then tomorrow, the bottom one, the lower one. All fun and games. So there we go, that's looking pretty cool. Put the um, put that one in yesterday. Put it on the squiff, just to be different. So I had to pour a bit of sh um, concrete yesterday before I left for this outside edge. But I've got a really nice edge now to prime to, so they're not glued down. So the usual procedure: prime the back of the concrete, prime the tile, and push them in together, and that should be solid as a rock. Okay, one completed, um, one completed patio. Looks really nice behind me. It's got some pots and stuff on it already, so that's looking good. Uh, yeah, so if you'd like to see what's coming up next. Oh, actually, I can tell you what's coming up next. I'm doing a porcelain driveway. Yeah, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a really nice job that one. So I'm starting that next week. So that'll take a while to do. But um, yeah, like and subscribe, and you can see um, what that one looks like too. Until then. See you on the next one. Yeah.